welcome to get ready with me Louise today we're going to be playing with the Mothership Sublime Seduction palette from the love collection and it looks like this these are so interesting in the fact of how they are how she did this collection I think she did a, a really good job and and I know that you could say that these are in her previous palettes. I know that. Some of the shades. But as a collection in a whole, I think she kind of nailed it. Because the first palette I did, it kind of really went... Hold on, let me find it. The Iconic Infatuation. With this palette, I used the Flirtatious Blush and it was perfect like the whole look was perfect like it all went together today again i'm playing with the sublime seduction and i am using the desert orchid blush and because of the way this is it's more of a warm tone look where the other one was cool tone that pink flirtatious blush went really good with that. And this went really good with this, right? So there's a third palette, but there's not a third blush, right? But that third palette is all matte. And when I look at it, it's warm and cool. So really, either, bl either blush could go with the palette, depending on what look you went with. And I like that. I really, really like that. I think that as a collection and a whole... I think she did really good, to be honest. Now, are these needed? That's up to you. I mean, did I technically need these? Well, I know I didn't need the blushes because I already had them. But, no, but yes. No, I didn't need them because most of these are in previous, I mean, not the same shades, but very similar. But at the same time, not in this format, not in this packaging. And does that mean something to you? I don't know. Does it mean something to me? Yeah, it does. Am I a fan? Yes, yes, I am. So I'm going to buy about anything. I'm not going to buy doubles, mind you. I'm not that much of a fool. Well, nah, maybe. But, you know, I'm going to try not to be that big a fool. So this is the one we're going to play with today. And I actually did use every shade. So let's go ahead and get started. And I did pull out the brown mascara, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to. I had to. It went with this look. And like lipstick, I did put on her Liquid Lip Divine Nude. This, again, I'm not a big fan of Liquid Lip, period. Whether it's her brand or any. However, as far as the Liquid Lip goes, it's not a bad Liquid Lip. And then I absolutely love 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 her glosses and this one is in love potion i put on top the glosses are amazing okay so the first shade we're going to go into i believe the name is peach persuasion yeah it's this one right here in the middle so we're going to go into that one and start with it i don't know i mean I, I, I get where people are coming from with her palettes. I do. But, I mean, at some point, every brand is going to eventually dupe themselves, if you think about it, because you're going to come out with every color eventually, I feel like, you know? So, I just think it's about how you do group and how you, the collection is supposed to go. And I do think this is a nice collection. And again, depending on what you own or what you're willing to spend, this may be a better collection for you than previous ones, too. Me, personally, I've kind of got almost everything. I think the only thing I didn't get, to be honest, was the Star Wars collection, the very first one she released. And I got, I got the Mothership, but... It was a, I had the mothership in the original form, but then she re-released those shades in a bigger palette, so I technically have them in her Christmas collection. So that was pretty cool, I thought. I 
I'm using my reference brushes too. I have found her shadows are best with natural hair brushes. I'm, I'm not going to lie there. They just supply better. They blend better overall. Can you use synthetic brushes with her shadows? Certain ones, maybe. But to be honest, I don't even take a chance anymore. I've had certain ones work, though, so I will say that. Okay, the next shade we're going to go into is Burning Desire, which is right here. We're just going to darken up the crease in our corner. Like, I don't have any issues out of her shadows. I think that so far, I've really enjoyed playing with these palettes. Now, the matte palette, to be fair, I, I'm going to use it, obviously. But I would have to bring in a shade, a metallic shade of some sort. But I do think that palette would be good, like, if you got a lot of color pop. Super shadows, or super shock shadows, like, you could use that. And kind of, you know, mix it up. You got drugstore and high end. If you wanted to. I mean, you could create an all matte look, and you know, it's just not my particular favorite way to do my makeup. And I may do a matte look just to see. But I don't think it'll be a way that I, I like it. But everybody, everything's different, you know? I've kind of had a date day, to be honest, not been the best, but... For some reason, when I just sit down and do my makeup, whether it's I clear my head doing it or I process whatever I'm going through while I'm doing it, nine out of ten times, I always feel better when I'm done. And I don't, you know, I'm going to take that same shade right here that burning desire and we're going to run it under the lower lash line and sometimes I think that that makes me shallow in a way but other times I'm like well no well it's not other times now I don't think I am I think it because it's not about that it's just about creativity in the sense kind of no different than coloring in my a coloring book or something you know I'm just running that same shade under my lower lash line. I also put on Natasha Denona brown pencil in my waterline. Okay, now we're going to go into the shade Sable Seduction, I believe is what it's called. It's this darkest one right here. Like I said, I, I tried to use all of the shades in this that I could. But again, it's got a very beautiful gradient effect. And then you got the option, you know, do you want a more warm tone look or do you want a more cool tone look? Would you like an all matte look, you know? Like, I, she gave options for sure on this one. And I like that. Just really trying to darken that up a little bit. Again, I'm using my refer brushes. And I'm not a makeup artist, y'all, so 
take that as what it is too. Again, like always, going back into that previous color. I feel like this side started to sag more than this side when this side was the one that sagged more. My eyes just cannot make up their mind for nothing. But do you see how well this look goes with that desert orchid shade? I just think that's wonderful. Okay, now we're going to go into the shade. Oh, wait, no. Let me take that same shade I just used and run it under the blur lash line, the Sable Seduction, the darkest shade. And then we'll go into those metallic shades. Okay. Now. We'll go into the shade, what is that going to be called? Bronze Fantasy. It's a good name. It's pretty much what it is. It's a bronze. It's the darkest of the metallics. And we're going to put it on the outer portion here, my lid. And bring it in a little bit. I just really wanted to see the shade of it, to be honest with you. It is pretty, and it lays really nicely on the lid. Her shadows usually do. For what they are, I mean, they are in your face, you know, so. But even with that on my aging eyes, they look nice. Then we're going to take the next darker shade. Honey does honey luster? No, lust I don't know. But this one right here. Honey something. And we're going to put it on the inner portion and over. I will say that you may want to lay something down. I don't, I didn't get much fallout, but I kind of have it everywhere because I used the brushes on this side, so it's kind of transferred like that. But as far as like under the eye, I don't have much, but if you do spray it or, you know, use some sort of like her base or something, you'll be much better off to be honest. Trying to make them both even. Okay, then we're going to take this lightest shade here, which is called Champagne Desire, and we're going to pop it in the inner corner here. I like this color. It's a pretty color. That champagne right there. I like it. 
Okay, then we're going to go back into the darkest shade that I use, the darkest matte. There's, I drop all my brushes. Stack. It was called Sable Seduction. And I'm just going to line my top lash line with it. So that when I put on my mascara, it makes it look like I got more volume than I do. And again, I love this brush for this. course if you should mess up or something you just go back in with the color that you previously used and smooth it out looks all right then I'm just gonna blend these two Now we're going to curl the lashes and put on some Too Faced chocolate mascara and we're done. And I really do think that the chocolate mascara goes good with this look because it's more of a warm brown and this is more of a warm toned look. Again, false lashes probably would bring it really to life, to be fair, or if you're a makeup artist, you could probably really bring it to life too, but I'm just a consumer, so... But I think I did an okay job using the palette. It wasn't too hard to like figure out a color, you know, what colors to use and where. For some palettes, you know, can be. Especially bigger palettes. Even hers, her Christmas palettes, I'm like, where do I begin? Now, don't get me wrong, no matter what, when I end, it's a beautiful look. but it is a little more chaotic in my head to use. I'm trying really hard not to mess up, y'all. And then we're gonna put the brown on the lower lash line. For some reason, I really don't have any problems now out of this brown. No flaking, no nothing. It really don't make sense. Because, like, I kind of did in the beginning, but now I don't. But yet, with the black one, I always get flaking. So it's like, how is that even possible? I did it with the black and not the brown. Mm, I knew it. I kept my 
person, you might as well mess up. Hopefully it's not too bad. And I find it funny because like when I look in a mirror far away, it looks good. But up close, I'm like, mmm. Or in the daylight, it'll be fine. But like on the camera, you can see like there's something not right about it. It's so weird. How lighting and stuff can make a huge difference in stuff, you know? But I feel like overall the look came together very nicely. It's a very beautiful look overall, I think. Again, it, the, this is the final look. I really just think it's up to what is your color preference, which palette would work best for you. Is it in your price range? Is it something you want, need? You know, it's all up to you really. I'm just kind of showing you, you know, from a consumer point of view, if it's easy, if it's hard, like what's I found to be the best way of doing something, you know, but that is all I have for you today. I hope this video helped in some way. And if it did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that we're notified when I upload. I upload every day of Sunday and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.